Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a geometry puzzle. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell button for notifications. If you don't like this video, let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate all kinds of feedback and let's get started. So we do have a quarter circle with radius one and isosceles right triangle with side length one and a square with side length X. And they're all inscribed in this rectangle, which is two by one. So the base is two, the height is one. And you see, we have a quarter circle. We have an isosceles right triangle, which is 45, 45 and 90. And that little square is kind of inscribed. We did have a similar puzzle before, but it was with a circle. So I'm going to also link that video in the description. All right. So what are we going to do? We're going to need to find the length. So let's go ahead and uh, start by calling that length X. As you know, this is going to be our side length, x, x everywhere, pretty much, here too. And then I'm going to make some connections. I'm going to drop some perpendicular lines, use the Pythagorean theorem, and then come up with the answer. Okay? All right, let's see how this goes. So one of my connections is going to look like this. I'm going to drop a perpendicular here. Hopefully that's going to be straight. Okay, nice. And then I'll connect the center here to that point. All right? So now I did make a right triangle here, didn't I? Okay, so that's gonna be one of my triangles that I'm using, but I would need more connections. And to make it a little easier to understand, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the um, two vertices here, making the diagonal. And I'm also gonna be dropping a perpendicular from this point down below here. That didn't go as expected, so let's see, try that again. Okay, here we go. Okay, nicer, cool. Now, what do we know? Since the side length is x, uh, I can safely say that the diagonal is going to be root 2 times x because it's 45, 45, 90. Half of that would be root 2 over 2x. So this is root 2 over 2x. This is root 2 over 2x. Root 2 over 2x and root 2 over 2x. You get the idea, right? Okay, awesome. Now let's call this length a and let's call this b since I don't know... Um, what they are at this point. Uh, this is also going to be root 2 over 2x. Beautiful. Okay, so that's an important point. Now, we also have a square there, but that's not super important. Now, what do we know? Uh, we know that uh, since this is b, can I find the length of this little piece here? I think that's going to be important as well. And there's a way to find it. Why? Because the diagonal of the square is root 2x, remember? And the whole thing is one here. So if you subtract that from one, you have, you're going to find this length, which is one minus root two X. But since this is a 45, 45 triangle, this is also going to be the same thing. Awesome. I pretty much have everything I need. And this is the hypotenuse, which is also one because it's the radius of the quarter circle. Did we say that it has radius one? Yes, we did. Nice. Okay. What is next? Well, next is, uh, setting up some equations and solving for x. But notice that we have like three variables here, a, b, and x. But we're going to get rid of a and b here. Don't worry, it's going to disappear. Nice, let's get started. Okay, so the first equation that I would like to notice here is that if you consider this point and that point, this is going to be the radius of the quarter circle. So a plus b is equal to 1. That's important, right? Obviously a plus b is equal to 1. What else do I have? Well, from here you can actually isolate a or b, but let's go ahead and write down another equation, and that equation could come up actually from here. The sum of these two lengths here is what? Uh, well, it's equal to square root of 2 over 2x, right? Because as you see, that's a square and they're parallel, that makes a rectangle, so on and so forth. So we also know that, we also know that b plus 1 minus root 2 multiplied by x is equal to root 2 over 2x. Okay, isn't that nice? Well, this is kind of nice because this allows you to write b in terms of x, which is cool. Then I can substitute and find a in terms of x. Now I have a and b in terms of x. I can set up another equation. Where is that going to come from? You'll see in a little bit. Okay, so let me go ahead and solve this for b then. If you add root 2 of x, that's going to make 3 root 2 over 2x, and then minus 1. So this is my b value, 
All right, so I'm gonna use that. And to find the A value, you can basically say that, okay, A plus B is equal to one, so I can write the A as one minus B. From here, A is gonna equal one minus three root two over two X minus one. And if you expand this, you know, this is gonna bother me, right? Okay. If you expand this, you're gonna get two minus three root two over two X. And this is my A value. So I got A and B in terms of X. What's next, right? Okay, so what's next is that we have to use another triangle here, something that we haven't used before, and that is going to come from here, this one. Why? Because I know that the hypotenuse is one, the base is A, if I can find the height, which I can, because the height is going to be, now, by the way, why do you, how do you find the height here? Well, notice that this part is root two over two X, subtract that from one, you're gonna get one minus root two over two X for the height. You know the base in terms of X, you know the height in terms of X, and the hypotenuse is one. We have everything we need. So we can just go ahead and proceed. Okay, let's go ahead and write that down as a quadratic equation or rather um, Pythagorean theorem, okay. So this is what I have, a squared plus one minus root two over two x squared. Remember this was the height, a is the base, right? That's the height, one minus root two over two x, and then the hypotenuse is one, beautiful. Now, why did we find b? Well, we're not gonna use it in our equation, but we needed, we needed b to find a, in other words. Make sense? Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna replace a with what it is, two minus three root two over two x, a squared plus this length squared is equal to one. Awesome, I only have one variable and we can solve this. And it's quadratic, but it's not a bad quadratic. It's actually a nice quadratic. Okay, so let's square the A minus B expression here. It's gonna be four minus six root two. You know, when you multiply these things, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna multiply them, right? The two is gonna cancel out, but you have to double it. It's minus two AB, it's gonna be six root two X. Plus, when you square this, root two over two squared is one half, it's going to be nine halves, multiply by X squared, that's the first part, plus one minus, if you multiply these two guys, it's gonna make root two X, plus if you square that, you're gonna get one half X squared, and the sum is equal to one. Now, one of the ones, or actually there is only one, by the way, never mind, can be canceled out. So we can go ahead and cancel these out, and then we're gonna end up with what? Let's go ahead and add the x squares together. I have nine half plus one half, which is 10 halves, which is five, so that gives me five x squared. I have negative six root two minus one root two, that makes minus seven root two x, beautiful. So I've taken care of this, I've taken care of this, I've taken care of this, and I've taken care of that. What is left? Four. Plus four is equal to zero. I told you this is going to be a nice quadratic. Okay, now what am I gonna do? Use the quadratic formula. Can you try to factor this? Yeah, you can, but you have to use root two. Another method, which um, I think we've kind of used in a cubic equation, you can also replace x with, you know, something like k root two, because the solutions are gonna in the, be in that form. But that's not necessary. Let's just use the quadratic formula. X is equal to negative B plus minus the square root of B squared. Now, B squared is 49 times two, which is equal to 98, minus four times A times C. Okay, C is positive, so that's gonna be a minus sign divided by two times A, which is equal to 10. Beautiful. Now I can simplify this, should be easy. Seven root two plus minus, Okay, four times four is 16, 16 times five equals 80, 98 minus 80 is 18, square root of 18 is three root two because it's nine times two. So it's just gonna be three root two, beautiful. Now at this point, you can just go ahead and split the solutions. One of them is gonna be seven root two plus three root two over 10, which means this is gonna be 10 root two over 10, which is root two. That's gonna be one of the solutions. The other solution is gonna come with the minus sign and that is going to equal four root two divided by 10, which is two root two over five. Now we have two solutions, which one do we use? Now, if you go back to the original problem, 
Remember that the height was 1, and the height is greater than the diagonal of the square. So the, in other words, the diagonal of the square needs to be less than 1. If you divide that by root 2, it means that the side length for the square needs to be less than root 2 over 2, correct? So, in other words, root 2 is not acceptable, okay? So what are we going to do? We're going to go with 2 root 2 over 5, which is the side length of the square. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Until then, take care, be safe, and bye-bye.